Hello everyone. I'm super happy to let you know that I'm starting a series called Montessori Parenting where I'll be explaining some basic principles of the Montessori method which will be useful for beginners. Parenting has been a wonderful experience for me since the time I came to know about Maria Montessori and her words of wisdom. I was drawn to the Montessori philosophy even before I got trained as a guide. I came to know of it through blogs and realized that this was exactly what I wanted for my child and that I had already been following some if not all of the principles. Since then parenting has been a stress-free and rewarding experience. In today's video, we'll talk about the first thing we need to understand and accept before deciding to have children, and that is children deserve our respect just like everybody else does. Children are not inferior creatures and our duty is not to raise them to do everything the way we do. Nobody is perfect. The child has his or her own individuality and deserves respect from the grown-ups. They cannot defend themselves from us, but that doesn't mean we can do anything to them. Act with them the way you would with an adult. Just like an adult, a child needs his or her own space, time and freedom. We should try not to be dominant and impose authority on them. Speak to them respectfully, address them when they talk to you and be a good listener. Do not scream or shout at them. Never be judgmental and never enforce your likes on them. Respect your child's choices, emotions and moods. They go through mood swings just like us. They cannot be the same every day. And sometimes they do things that are out of their control. For instance, if we ask a child not to throw a block around the house and if they are going through a natural schema for doing it, it is not up to them to listen to us. They cannot. Imagine how cruel we are being by screaming and yelling at a child who is so helpless at controlling his actions. How disrespectful is that? We need to constantly try and eliminate characteristics like anger and impatience. We must keep faith in our children that they'll change for the better regardless of what they do now. Show them that you trust them and never let them feel they are incapable of doing things. You can do this by letting them do things for themselves and you and for everybody in the house. They know we can do more than them, but don't use their timidity and our power to degrade them. And remember, the child's mind is like a sponge. It absorbs everything that it receives. Even though the child will grow up to have no conscious memory of this period, it is this unconscious memory of the child that will shape the behavior of the adult he or she will one day be. Negative influences can have a great impact on the child's personality. Show them respect and they'll reflect it. We cannot teach them respect when we ourselves are disrespectful to them. That's it for today everyone. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. And if you are new here, do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.